The knock on Scott Hollingsworth's door late Saturday night wasn't from someone selling cookies. All I saw was just this massive black thing, and my first thought's dog. You know, we don't have any stray dogs out here, but my, that was my first thought. But this was no dog either. Instead, it was a nine-foot alligator. The startled gator then latched onto Scott's thigh, but quickly let go. Body camera footage shows the gator hiding by the patio. Oh, yeah, he's laying right here at the front door. 911 dispatchers walked the Hollingsworth through what to do next. Just make sure that he remains calm. With that bleeding, just like I said, use a clean, dry cloth and apply pressure directly over the bite. The Champions Drive neighborhood inside of LPGA International Golf Club has seen its fair share of gators on the course, but never one at the front door. Experienced gator trappers say alligators tend to be scared of humans. They say something like this is one in a million. I mean, I don't think he did anything wrong. He should buy a lottery ticket, though. I mean, definitely. Yeah, didn't buy a lottery ticket yet. Probably should have. But... The FWC says they caught the alligator near the front of the house and called a trapper who killed it, which is standard protocol when they attack humans. In Daytona Beach, Dave Puglisi, Fox 35 News. Meanwhile, Florida Fish and Wildlife says that gator attacks are rare. There have been more than 200 bites reported over the last 23 years. Now, if you do happen to see a gator that you think poses a threat to people or pets and is over four feet long, you're asked to call the Nuisance Alligator Hotline.